got it. seen this somewhere. What the hell is going on? something in the commonplace book about this. the clock broke, or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Hmm. 
There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. Jeremy's memories. Ugh. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. I need the key. 
key. Missing.
As his pride faded, Detective Comby was left with a feeling of unease. He had success, but... need something to break it.
All right. Now what? Yeah, come on, Carmby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet! It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound.
stained. Looks like some kind of rot. I need the key. Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Went shot. It worked. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. 
then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. this I don't think I have everything I need 